you guys. Um, the background. Yeah. I think this is... Thanks, Zeus. I think this is probably the last tutorial I will be filming in this room. Uh, there's shit everywhere and I'm just not motivated to clean it up because we are starting to move later this week. So, you know, what's the friggin' point in cleaning? I don't know if I'm gonna film like a little video packing up this room and emptying it out. Maybe I could. I don't know, it's just kind of feral. So like, are people just gonna get shitty because it's so feral or is it a good idea? I don't know, you guys let me know. I might film it in case you wanna see it. So let me know in the comments if you do wanna see it and then I can edit it. Otherwise I won't waste my time editing it because I feel like there's gonna be hours of footage. Like maybe I could do it like declutter style. I don't know, I just feel like there's gonna be so much random like archived shit in these drawers behind me as well because I just haven't cleaned them out in so, so long and I wanna start really fresh in the new house and you know, just have my makeup collection and nothing spare, you know? So I'm going to be sending some boxes of stuff over to like look and feel better and give heaps of my used stuff to like family and friends and their family and friends and their family and friends. Like I'm just gonna get rid of it so I'm not taking all of this excess stuff to the new house. And I've kind of like removed myself from like some PR and you know, I'm just not getting so much of that stuff these days. So I just hope that we can keep it a little bit more manageable in the new year. Like I still love doing full face first impressions. Hello, that's what we're doing today. Um, so I'm still getting PR, but like just not as much. I plaited my hair last night when I slept and then I used that Tidal Hair Waiver. I'll put a discount code for this down below. I think it's ShanXO or ShanXO10 or something like that. I don't know, I'll list it below. But I used it just in the tops where like my hair didn't wave um, with the plaits overnight. And I really like how my hair turned out today, so. That was good. Anyways, um, there's also like Christmas gifts. I've been wrapping Christmas gifts this morning. It's just a shit show, so. I am going to film just like a full face first impression today, like I said. So let's begin. I'm gonna clip back my hair with Make So Beauty creaseless, you know, hair clip situations. I've got such mixed emotions about moving. Like I'm really excited, but I'm also not excited at all. It feels surreal because it's been such a long time coming. Like I can't believe we're actually almost ready to move. We've been building since my birthday last year. By the time you watch this, is it even like, what year is this? Anyway, 2021, my birthday, so August. That's just building. So it's been like a year and a bit building. And then another like year and a half or more planning and doing all of like the engineer stuff and architect stuff and it's been such a long time coming that it just doesn't feel real at this point. Like there was always just never a finish line in sight and then all of a sudden it's just here. I wouldn't have a clue what type of look we're doing today. So we're just gonna wing it. Um, I wanna do something kind of glam maybe, I don't know. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. Look how cute it is. I feel like it's gonna smell like raspberries. That's my, that's my guess, let's see. Oh, it smells like something, but not raspberries. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, it's kind of sticky-ish. It starts off sticky and then... I don't know. It's unique. It kind of reminds me of the um, Milk Hydro Group, but maybe less sticky than that. But that similar kind of thickness and texture of that. It makes your skin look kind of wet. It's kind of sticky when it dries down. But not as sticky as the Hydro Grip. It reminds me, I know what it reminds me of. The texture reminds me of After Sun Gel. Look, it feels the same as that. Okay, I'm gonna try out this Kosas. I think I bought this, pretty sure. How do I open it? It's the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. SPF 25 with a medium coverage and a natural a dreamy finish. I have no idea what dreamy finish means. But I mean, it sounds lovely. This is how the packaging looks. I actually love it. It's really cool looking. And it's like a glass bottle. And the shade I picked is Light and Neutral Warm 170, which is light with peachy golden undertones. I think I'll just use an angled face brush today because I can't be bothered wetting my sponge. This is gonna be too light. The undertone looks amazing with like my fake tan. I've just got the XWB fake tan on. Let's just go ahead and buff some in. Okay, the color looks pretty good. Maybe a touch light, but obviously we can just use bronzer. So that's good. I really like the finish. It's kind of like a semi-dewy kind of finish. 
nothing too hectic it looks very skin like and just really pretty like the coverage is definitely like smack bang medium I would say you can see a little bit of my natural skin peeking through but it still does create a really flawless but natural look like not flawless as in one colored face you know took me so many years to realize that I actually really do like a medium kind of coverage and I feel like not a lot of foundations actually are medium I feel like so many that market themselves as medium are actually like either super full or they're like super light like there's never like the perfect medium whereas I feel like that's the perfect medium peak of your skin coming through but relatively flawless and now when sometimes I use like a full full coverage foundation I'm like oh it looks like a mask you know so mediums are nice I'm just kind of dabbing this now remember like the primer may be making this look a little bit more glowy than it is so who knows but I mean this combination I really love oh my god I had a heart attack I thought I wasn't filming yeah, I feel like that colour is almost perfect. I love it. And I feel like it does layer up nicely. I'm kind of dabbing back over some areas and it's adding just a little bit more foundation off my brush and yeah, layering up nicely. But you can see where I've got a big breakout that, yeah, it's not covering that. But overall, I definitely can imagine using this more frequently. So that's always good. All right, we have shade 2C of the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Brightening Correct Duo. I don't think I've tried this. Have I? Or maybe I did try it. I can't remember. Did I? So we're going with Correct first. And I'm going to use that especially in that really dark area. This is so creamy and light. I'm going to use my sponge even though it is dry. The sponge still look, works so good dry. It's just faster when it's wet because it's bigger. So that's why I don't want to use it for my foundation dry. I still prefer to wet it for that. But for concealer, like it actually works really well. Can you see that blend? That looks so good. So I watched the movie Barbarian. It's like a horror thriller kind of situation. That like, was so creepy to me. I feel like now I'm a mum, I can't handle like super high heart rate movies <laughs> okay the bright inside now I feel like I don't really need much but I'm just gonna kind of put some underneath and I'll blend it up don't think I can really cover this pimple so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get time to pre-fill much for um, over like New Year's you know, with having a baby and with moving and all of these different things. Um, we've got some EXO Beauty stuff we need to get done before EXO Beauty shuts for the year and blah blah blah. So, you know, might not have a video up on time, but I'll do my best. To be honest, like I was kind of in denial. I didn't think we'd be moving this year. Like, the builders said we probably would, but there's just constant delays all the time that I just, I don't know. Okay, that concealer though, did a really good job. I'm going to try out some of this Halo Glow um, setting powder by e.l.f. Oh shit, I almost dropped it. Just looks like this. I'm assuming it's like kind of glowy. So I'm going to sit under my eyes and then bake. So just using a shimmer tulip brush, which is perfect under the eyes as well. I'm just going to use a small amount to first set. Actually, we'll do some cream blush and stuff and then I will bake under my eyes to blend it all together. Okay, first of all though, I bought the Patrick Ta She's Statuesque Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. So I'll take the cream contour and I'm going to use a domed contour brush. This one is from my vegan brush set. I'm just going to pick up some of the product on it there. And then it's a really good colour. I did want the shade darker than this just because I do like a bit of a darker appearance to my bronzer and everything but I feel like that's actually really good but they were always sold out eh like this brand's always sold out so every time I do see it in stock I always try to pick up something because I really like this brand I want to try like everything so yeah I'm just tapping that in and I feel like I couldn't go wrong with that because it is such a natural color for my skin tone so that's a win huge yes from me and then for blush, I've got this. This is like a blush and highlighter by Tarte. It's the Manita Blush and Glow Cheek Plump. And this is in the shade Buff. And I have no idea if this is actually going to look any good on me. But the colour isn't something I'd ever go for. 
Okay, it's prettier on though than it looks like this, right? I'm gonna use the same brush and just tap that in as well. Oh, it's actually so pretty when it's blended out. Like it gets a little bit brighter. Can you see that color? It's so shiny. It's like a nude peach, I would say. So yeah, that's pretty. I mean, I might use like a powder on top of it just to get some more color payoff because I feel like it is quite natural, but I don't hate it. Okay, the kind of anxiety is like kicking in a little bit right now. I'm like looking at my room and I'm like, I have to move all of this with a baby. How am I gonna do it? Okay, I've got this light medium sand um, Amazonian clay blurring powder foundation. It looks so pretty. I'm gonna take my powder brush. This is the Lux little brush set. Why do I have a hair on like every brush, I swear? If you saw my desk right now, you probably understand to be honest. But I'm gonna use this to just use a little bit of this over my face to set everything. The packaging is real pretty. Like, look at that. It's got a little mirror, so nice. I'm really not using much because it is a powder foundation, so I know the coverage is gonna be decent, you know? And I don't want, yeah, to get rid of all of this beautiful glow. So I'm kind of being tactical where I apply it. Back in with this, I'm going to bronze. I'm gonna use my vegan shimmer tulip brush again. Oh gosh. So yeah, hopefully I like this too because then it'll be perfect. It's annoying when you get like a duo and you only like one of the colors. But I mean, look, that's a really pretty color. It is light, but I'm just using a decent amount and I feel like it's showing up pretty good. And I think it's easy to blend. It's got like a little bit of like a glow to it. It's not shimmery, but it's definitely not super matte, which I love. This would be so pretty for summer actually. All right, we're still looking so glowy. Now I'm going to go in with that e.l.f. powder and my little powder, pr pit powder puff. By the way, this is in shade light. I've just seen the little stickers like on the side for some reason. You'd expect them to put on the bottom, but you know. So I'm gonna take a decent amount and let's see what baking's like with this. Woo! Just smacking that on nice and thick. These powder puffs, like, I never used to like baking, but these have changed the game for me. I'm gonna buff off, like, that bit. Okay, that's good. We'll apply some blush soon, but for now, I'm loving how this is all looking. Okay, so I think I'm gonna mix a couple of palettes together, one new and one not new. So I was thinking of trying out the Rose Metals by Anastasia Beverly Hills, just because I feel like her eyeshadows always make me feel really, really pretty. Honestly, like, they just do. And these colors, like, at first I was underwhelmed, but the more I look at it, the more I really like it. I love the coppers. I love the like kind of grungy, you know, neutrals and everything. They're a little bit dark. I feel like it would work on a lot of skin tones. So we're going to try it and then I'll let you know if I like it or not. All right, I'm going in with a blender brush and I want to use some like pinky peaches maybe or hot pink. I don't know. Let's go in with June. I'm going straight balls deep. This is like really, really dark, like a dark burnt terracotta. And I mean, terracotta is like my favorite color eyeshadow to use. Oh my God, that color is amazing. <sighs> okay, I would buy this palette just for this color. I'm like literally saying it right now. Wow, that's so pretty. Don't know what we're doing. Oh, that color. Just using like the side of the brush to kind of like place it and tap it and then wiggle it around to blend it. Let's actually like keep this looking a little bit grungy today. Why not? I'm going to take the shade Ashes, which is this like cool tone taupey neutral. I'm going to add that in kind of at the top. And the key I think to grungy makeup is literally just to not overthink it and not blend too much. I am going to go into my nostalgia palette because I haven't really shown you like India and Gasm properly. So I'm taking India with the same brush just so that I get a layer that's not as, you know, super pigment. I don't want like bright orange on the eyelids. Like this is still bright with the blender brush, but you know, we're just trying to pick up a sheer layer. So I'm just putting a really sheer layer over like this. 
I'm gonna do the same thing with Gazin, which is more pinky with like shimmery flesh. And it might take a bit of element, which is like a brownie color with like a bit of burnt orange in it. So it should transition these shades really nicely. I'm just gonna tap that on the edges. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this um, small face brush and just dust off the powder. I do feel like the powder was a little bit drying. Like it still looks quite pretty and hopefully once we use setting powder, it'll kind of like, you know, not feel so drying. Just using this petal brush to clean up the edges. The side got really messy, I don't know. I'm gonna go in with Ashes, which is the grayer kind of tone and smudge that underneath. It's a cool color. I feel like it would actually look so cool just all over the lid, just for like a one eye look. Going to use a little bit of Nymph, which has like gold, like beige kind of undertones. And it's freaking pigmented, so. I mean, I always try to not pick up much, but it just goes <laughs> so far. Thank you for all of the love on this palette, by the way. I appreciate every single review, every single picture, every single makeup look you guys create with it. It just makes my day every time I see them. I'm so excited for what's to come next year. Like, so, so, so excited. I'm going to take this Pillow Talk Eyeliner by um, Charlotte Tilbury. It's like a dark brown with, like, pink undertones. I don't know, it kind of makes you look sick, but it works with this look. And I'm rubbing it into my actual lashes. Just taking a clean blending brush and running over the edge of the shimmer. I feel like Daenerys, kind of. I don't know, there's some kind of weird thing happening that's making me feel that way. I'll take it. I've in the comments, no. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, and now let's do some smoky liner on the top. So I'm just going to use black. This is the Rock and Coal Bedroom Black by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to smudge that from like halfway like this. And then I'm going to take, if I can find it, my little angled um, wind liner brush works for beauty. Use that to kind of smudge into that. And then wing it a little bit. Just because I think it looks prettier when it's winged out a little bit. Like that. And then I will build it up just a little. I forgot that I was doing a full face of first impressions, by the way, because I just started using stuff that I already have. Whoops. Well, full face. <laughs> Minus a few small items. I'm sure you guys will survive. You can use any eyeliner that you want to do this. You don't have to use Charlotte Tilbury. Like, just anything you can smudge. Also, you could use liquid if you want it to look a little bit more glam. I think that looks really good. Let's put some in the, the tight line as well. Whoops, I got a little bit on my lower lashes, so I'll just blend that in too. Alright, let's try a new mascara since I've literally just been using my Tarte, um, what's it even called? I mean, I don't even know where it is. You know, my Tarte mascara, the you know the one. So let's try this. This is the Dark Magic by Max Factor. Um, instant dramatic volume apparently. Oh, this looks dried out. I bought this not that long ago. Why? Eh. Oh, frick. It's got all mild. Like immediately. It's so dried out. This is what I get for trying something new. I mean, we're gonna put on lashes anyway, so I'll just persevere. But it is dry. I can't even like see it on my lip. Nah, it's going in the bin. Like, for reference, so it's the tubing mascara, tartlet. For reference, can I just show you, like, the other side? And I won't even have to spend as long doing it, because literally it works so much quicker. Like, that was like a third, not even that, a quarter of the amount of time. And it already looks better. Building it up, like, taking just a little bit longer. Still only took half as long. Now, the bottom lashes, you're going to be able to see the difference, trust. Like, look at this. Two seconds. Hello. Put some on this side too to make them look a bit even. So my hunt for a holy grail 
drugstore mascara continues. And I will just pop in some of my current favourite brow gel, which has been at the P. Louise Hazelnut Latte. Just because it darkens my brows a bit, it's a little bit of warmth. I like the way they look. Literally just combing a little bit through. Okay, before I pop on the lashes, I'm going to chuck on a little bit of setting spray. I'm just going to use some pretty fresh because it's almost out. It smells so good to me, it's like nostalgic at this point. Like, because I've been using it for like, what, a couple of summers? Or last summer? I don't know. But it's like, there's something about it, it's nostalgic to me. Like, it reminds me of like, good vibes. These are magnetic lashes. So, I can't be bothered using magnetic liquid liner because I want to keep it soft looking. So, I'm just going to glue them on. <laughs> These are a pill and they are literally so beautiful. Just popping those on the outer bit. They just kind of like, I don't know, add that darkness to the outer, corner, the outer corners and just look very grungy and sexy. Like a bedroom eyes. Oh, I put on too much glue. You know when it's like real fuming? <laughs> it's just not look at my nails either like i don't i don't know they're only gonna get worse when i move from packing boxes and things okay we need more blush i'm gonna use this mellow one it's called peach daz oh i just scraped the packaging and it was like nails on a shortboard i've got goosebumps i don't think i'll be able to see them <gasps> color looks so pretty yeah 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 oh why is it sticking like that? What? Did I not like set that properly? It's alright. That kind of helped blend it. I don't think that's the blush's fault by the way. I think I just didn't set it properly. Well that sparkles by Laura Mercier. This is like a pinky kind of colour and I just feel like it'll look really nice with what's going on. Hopefully. Yeah. And then you know, it'd be easy for me to do my nude lip, but I'm going to do something different. Alright, we're going to do this lip liner by Peaches and Cream. Uh, and it's in the shade Hotline. Okay, I'm scared. It's so pretty though, the colour. It's just scary. This is the liquid lipstick by REM Beauty in absolutely I think the colour is. It smells so good. Now I don't know if this goes at all with the eye makeup and the cheeks. I feel like the cheeks are too bright now. But we all know that cheeks are the first to fade. Is it a vibe or is it really not a vibe? I don't know. At least it's something different. Um, not just nude lips again. That's like my New Year's resolution is to do, you know, I still love my nude lips. You're still going to see them all the time. Like, let's be honest. But I do want to do more colours. I love the lip combo. I just don't know if it suits, yeah, the rest of my makeup. Let me know what you guys think. Do you love it or are you screaming at me? Maybe we'll just add a little bit more of June and a little bit of Noble, which is this like one on the corner. And we'll just really deepen it up as well. I'm going to go back in with this as well, the powder foundation with my puff. And just perfect my skin a little bit. Oh my god, that's literally like porcelain skin like I look like a porcelain doll it's so perfect that combo coming soon I'm gonna stop messing with all this let me know what you think and I will talk to you soon are you gonna see another video in this room I don't know we're gonna be in the new room for the new year yay Mwah. bye bye <laughs>